Look at this. Wow. Look at the crowd. Look, turn around and look behind you. We have educators, we have students, we have parents, and we have community advocates. Welcome to the Fix the Fund March. And are you ready to march? Yeah. Are you ready to make your voices heard? Yeah. My name is Betty Weller, and I'm a middle school science and English teacher from Kent County. And I'm president, a proud president, of this 74,000 member Maryland State Education Association. It is such an honor to be with all of you right here and right now in this moment in history. We come here today to stand on the shoulders of the working men and women who have come before us and to stand arm in arm with those who are currently fighting beside us. Two weeks ago, West Virginia educators ended a nine-day strike in victory after securing, after securing a 5% increase in salaries for themselves and all state employees. Let's give it up for our brothers and sisters in West Virginia. You know what they were being offered before they showed up in force at the State House? A 1% increase. 1%. But because they stood united, they turned 1% into 5. That's the power of our profession when organized in a cause for improving our schools. And that's in a state without collective bargaining, where their largest educators union has 15,000 members, not 74,000. Imagine what we could do in Maryland by unifying our voice. Yeah. Across the country, we see headline after headline of educator and student-powered activism. Are you ready to make some headlines of your own? In Maryland, if we make our own strong show of force, we can win a new state funding formula, one that finally delivers the resources our kids need in every corner of this state. And I know we can do it because we've done it before. In 2002, 15,000 educators, parents, students, and advocates filled Lawyers Mall all the way down Rao Boulevard, as far as you can see, all the way back to that bridge behind you. We fought for and won more school funding through the Thornton formula. And you're gonna hear more from, from the Thornton for funding formula's namesake in just a little bit. And guess what? We're gonna do it again a year from now. That's right. We're going to multiply ourselves tenfold next year and literally shake this town with our voice for change. But that work starts today. Today is the first day of a campaign to secure a new Maryland promise. The idea that as a state, we are committed to ensuring and funding and equal opportunity and success for all of our students in all of our communities. Yeah, it's about time. What does that mean? It means finally investing in and respecting the educator workforce that inspires our kids and guides them every day. You know that 5% raise West Virginia teachers just got? Maryland teachers have gotten a 4.7% raise if you add together the last three years. And in fact, we haven't seen more than a 3% raise statewide since 2008. And on average, we've gotten less than 1% annual raise in the last nine years. Is that acceptable? Is that any way to attract and retain educators that our kids deserve? No. 
And don't even get me started on how our state has treated our education support professionals. We now know that more than 24,000 ESPs make less than a living wage in this state. Think about that. That's 20% of our state school employees forced to take on second or third jobs just to make ends meet for their families. Is this the state we want Maryland to be? The good news is we have the power to change Maryland into a state that values and supports educators in our hands. And the first step to securing the funding we need for our students is the Fix the Fund Act. This legislation, and let's make sure, this legislative session, let's make sure our elected officials fix the broken promise they made to the people of our state on casino gambling. 500 million in new education funding won't address all of our students' needs, but it is a big first step. It's the right thing to do. It's the commitment we need from our legislators here in Annapolis. So what do we want the General Assembly and the governor to do? Yeah. Fix the fund. 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 Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being an advocate for your students. And thank you for standing up for a Maryland we can be proud of. Go, fight, win.